We are in Green Bay, Wisconsin for this episode of FWF 126. I am CJ Extreme. Uh, follow me on Twitter or don't. Anyways, we're going to get into this uh, first matchup. But apparently Red Hood wants to speak with Nightwing when they can't even have a civilized conversation ever. But I guess is what we're going to do. So they're already in the ring together. Don't even try to act like you're surprised, pal. You know the two of us have some unfinished business and I'm not going to let the FWF universe listen to you babble on about pointless nonsense. Let's have it out right here, right now. If you weren't such an insignificant blip on the FWF radar, I might actually be upset right now. You see, kid, I'm what you call a natural born winner. Someone who was born to be great. You. You're just lucky enough to get to share the nearby space of someone like me. <coughs> Sorry. You have something I want. Your spot. I'm taking it from you. Straight into the point. I like that. I like that. Do you ever get tired of listening to yourself speak? I mean, it's bad enough that you have to come out here looking like a reject from a butt ugly muscle head doll collection. But you sound like a dog squeaky toy when you whine so why don't you just do us all a favor and shut the hell up you can sit there and you can talk all night but it's not going to get you anywhere it's certainly not going to get you out of this fight and trust me it will happen I believe that Let me think for a second. Hold on, I'm thinking, still thinking, thinking, thinking. Man, this is hard. I know I said I need a second, but I need more time. Okay, wait, there you go. No, not gonna do it. Well, he's got, <laughs> I'm sorry, dude, I keep coughing, but that was actually funny. That was actually funny. He still attacked him anyway. Over the top rope. Nightwing and Red Hood still gonna battle out here. Nightwing taunting Red Hood and Red Hood hops back into the ring with a slingshot crossbody. Corkscrew crossbody. I gotta say I'm impressed by that agility. Look at the striking combination here from the Red Hood. He's got him stunned. Nightwing is getting pummeled right now by Red Hood, which is I'm surprised to see as last week it was Red Hood who was in trouble with Nightwing. When four kicks to the gut, it's avoided. And now Red Hood catches him. Oh man, arm wrench Pele kick from the Red Hood. Now what is he gonna do? Grabs Nightwing, tosses him over the ropes here, shoulder tackle to the floor from the Red Hood. A dominant presence is the Red Hood right now. The current Warfare Champion Nightwing heading in and Red Hood is currently leaving the scene here. And Nightwing is posing with the president. I think Red Hood is done with this whole action. I think he's done fighting. Him down and now they're going to meet on the stage. What is going to happen between these two? A went for a grapple, got caught with a roundhouse kick, devastating move, and now thrown into the lights here, rolling Centon from Nightwing. They might as well have a false kind of war matchup. I mean, at this point, the way these two are going at it, traveling all around the arena currently, but now a counter from the Red Hood as he takes out the arm of Nightwing. Tosses him up the stage now. It's Red Hood's turn to fire back. Nightwing goes down, Red Hood, big elbow drops to the chest to wear him down. He's gotta hit something big if he wants to end this whole scuffle. And he's probably gonna do that right here. Oh my God, on the stage with that rolling backdrop suplex on Nightwing. Overhand now, hits him again, looks to follow up. Red Hood fires back, or Nightwing fires back. Now Red Hood kicks to the back of the knee of Nightwing. Now he's got him again, Nightwing again firing back. These two are destroying each other here with these counters. Red Hood, again, multiple shots. The trading has been crazy. Oh my God, what a close line from the Red Hood and they're back up on their feet. Here comes Red Hood firing off on Nightwing. He is getting, oh, no, Nightwing tried to fight back, got caught with knee to the gut. Red Hood now setting it up. Oh, snap, suplex on the stage. That will take out Nightwing for sure, for now. But this will never be over between these two, never. So this is the second time these two individuals are meeting one-on-one, -on -one, but not the first time these two are meeting in a match. White Ranger and Black Ranger about to collide as Black Ranger is the current reigning and not defending, it's a non-title match, uh, FWF International Champion. Here we go, a rematch between these two, a blast from the past here. I think the last time these two fought each other were like two years ago, when WWE 2K16 was a thing. Jawbreaker now, 
from the Black Ranger. Forearm shot. These two are going to go at it, and it's going to be a long one, I can tell you that much, as he gets him from behind here. Uh, never mind. Back suplex now from the Black Ranger. Anyway, he's in control. And going for another forearm shot. That's blocked that time. White Ranger has the answer for it. He might be looking for the Tiger Bomb right here. I think he was going for it. Black Ranger able to stop it and gets that Lariat off the International Champion looking good against the former Tag Team Champion and Warfare Champion. Unfortunately for Green Ranger, the only one who has been a champion or a singles champion is him overhand right now. Not finished chopping in the corner. That sounded very southern right there. Anyway, out of the corner. What is he doing? Astro Whip. Look at this dude. Black Ranger right now is getting it done. He's disrespecting the agility of White Ranger as it seems like he's the one who's more agile. Went for the, oh, he just slapped him in the face. The disrespect knife. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Big, big um, Irish whip. Went for a move there and uh, got shrugged off. Now it's White Ranger's turn. He sets it up. Oh, Tiger Bomb got it early. Oh, my goodness. But he's not going to go for a cover, I don't think. I think he's setting up something big here. Stump to the back now on the Black Ranger. Setting it up. Tiger Saw, it could be over. He goes for a cover, but he's not going to. He's setting him up, though. Overhand right. Whoa, and a Tiger Plex early as well. This man just bursting out all the Tiger moves he's got in his arsenal early. Those are supposed to be signature moves. He is trying to destroy Black Ranger and win this one fast. I think he's trying to make a break for the title here against Black Ranger. I think he's trying to get involved in that match that Blank Great Ranger has with uh, Deathstroke. Gets the face buster now as well. That's patented Black Ranger with that one, or White Ranger with that one. But never mind. Oh, wow. The nimbleness and speed of Zachary on display against, I forget his name. I forget his name in the corner anyway. Oh, Tommy, that's his name. One for the splash. Oh, my goodness. Gets hit with the Famouser as well. Black Ranger's getting absolutely demolished right now against White Ranger. He can't really do anything, much of anything against him. White Ranger has written him like a book so far in the early, uh, well, somewhat of an early going here as he was able to turn things around with a couple of big moves. Black Ranger's still trying to stay in it, and I got to say I respect that. Oh, my God. That's a way to stay in the matchup. He hit a big rolling elbow, and he got him up again. There's a second rolling elbow. Gets him back up. Black Ranger is showing no mercy against White Ranger here. There's a third one. He gets him up again. Oh, my God. There's a fourth one. And again, he gets him up. And again, he cut him open that time. Five consecutive rolling elbows. One. No, not even a one count. You got to be joking. I think Black Ranger got uh, kind of annoyed by White Ranger trying to embarrass him in front of his girlfriend there. I don't think he liked that. You're probably wondering how White Ranger and Green Ranger both exist in the same timeline. Well, it all started when uh, White Ranger went back to another universe to go see his former self and became a tag partner with him. Oh, both of them going for moves there, but neither of them getting one off that time. Tries to run back into the ring, does Zachary, but he's caught up on the shoulders, and he gets taken out face first into the apron. I believe Tommy actually is the Green Ranger. Oliver is the White Ranger. That's what, that's what I'm calling these two. Split their names up. Meanwhile, on the outside, setting up shop, slaying blade on the floor, getting a little bit of revenge there, but the blood continues to pour from his head. And the distraction from the Black Ranger is a count of seven. He may be counted out here as Black Ranger heads back into the ring now. What's going to happen here? Here comes White Ranger right back in. He's caught, though. Small package roll up here. I think that's a rope break. Yeah, it is. Oh, smart move. But at the same time, the ring presence was lacking as he tries to get him back up to his feet here. What is this? Oh, went for a kick to the gut. It's blocked. Takes out the shin. That gets countered with the fireman's carry takedown. Oh, big stiff punch to the face. Setting him up again. And another rolling elbow lands right on the money. Straight to the head again. He is zoning in on that head. And I, I don't know if I really like it that much. That might be uh, terrible for the well-being of White Ranger, who gets hit with a nasty brain buster, but rolls to the outside uh, successfully to get a bit of space here. I don't think Black Ranger's done with him just yet as he follows him to the floor. Kicks to the gut. Again, targeting the head. He's going for another brain buster on the floor, dude. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know about that one. Back into the ring. Yoshi Sega might have to check this, man, because uh, I don't think Black Ranger is going to stop anytime soon. Oh, my God. Nice shot. I got to say, that was a nice punch. But now what? Green Ranger has not gotten involved at all, and I think he probably should for the well-being of his tag partner. Frog splash from the top rope 
into the pin. And now look, Green Ranger is getting involved just as I say that. And I mean, turnabout is fair play here in FWF. Who is going to win this one if the managers keep interfering like this? Takes out the shin. And now what's going to happen here? Up on the shoulders. Crosses up the legs for a Samoan driver. No pinning combination, but he does have him down. Our Ranger stumps away. He's setting up shop now. This could be bad. No. Oh, hung up on the ropes. That was nasty. That was nasty. Went for the overhand. That's countered by White Ranger. Close line. Clothesline again. He's hearing the voices in his head and he hits the power slam. Snap power slam. Setting it up on the champion. Kick to the gut. Here comes the tiger bomb. Got it. Pinning combination? No, it isn't. But he might have a one right here. Yoshi Sega, meanwhile, is being distracted by the black cat. Stumps to the back of the head, though. And I think White Ranger is about to go for the kill. Sets up. Nasty. Net breaker. He gets it, but no cover. Instead, he's going to go to the top rope. Black Ranger's kind of far away, but I think White Ranger's about to go for that 450. Nobody home for that one. Off the avoidance, or I guess the wise escape. He's setting it up. Here it comes. Black Destiny, he got it. Into the cover. One, two. That is it. What a match. What a match. Some good back and forth there, and these two kind of just went to town on each other. No mercy whatsoever, just trying to take each other out in this one. And I got to say, I'm impressed by both competitors with the physicality that they brought to this matchup. But in the end, it was Black Ranger coming out on top with the Black Destiny. Let's see that again in the replay here. Look how smooth and crisp this was. He's able to change direction in midair as well and get the proper pin to avoid White Ranger from getting to the ropes that time. And Black Ranger is victorious. Wait, Black Ranger about to, whoa, 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 death stroke. Oh my goodness, shot to the back of the head from behind, German suplex. Wait. What is happening here? What the hell? Why are they working together? <laughs> what is going on? It's in Guri. It's in Guri. Green Ranger. Oh, gets caught with a clothesline. Black Ranger was going to attack White Ranger. And now he's paying the price. And now he has to deal with Deathstroke. No. Forearm shot. What's going to happen now? Front face lock. Are they going to work together? What is this? Is this a contract? Is there a hit on Black Ranger for the championship? I think there is. I think there is. That's the way it seems, at least, as he has him down right now. Oh, no, he's not done, though. Gets him back up on his feet. He's going to finish him off here. Oh, my goodness. The champ is in trouble. Oh, my God. He took out his knee. He took out his knee. Black Cat can't even help him. Black Ranger has no allies in the back whatsoever. Leg drop across the back of the neck. And Yoshi Sega finally calls it off here. That's not what I expected to see, but things have certainly gotten interesting in here in FWF. I think that's what Black Ranger is. I think he was about to attack White Ranger, and Deathstroke came flying out from the back. So I think that's why Green Ranger helped him out. Black Ranger, you're going to have to find some friends, buddy.